Hello and welcome to another MindFish.com hard math question video. Again, we are taking you through some of the hardest math questions in the official SAT study guide, a book I strongly recommend you buy. And we're basically helping you out because they don't provide explanations to these questions. So we're hoping that we can help you understand some of the harder math questions. And if you uh, need other assistance, you need practice questions, you need um, you know, good materials, uh, the ability to ask questions in office hours with Stanford and Harvard tutors, please check out mindfish.com. We're always there to help. So this question is problem 18 on page 598. It's the last question on the math section with the student-generated uh, responses. So you have to come up with your own answer here, not pick one from multiple choice. And it is a, uh, a pattern question, which in our, um, in our categorization, I would put this under probability. It's essentially a permutation question. But it's got a little bit of a loop to it, or I should say a trick to it, and that's why it's a hard question. Now, let's just say, for example, that they asked us there are five shapes and we got to arrange all five shapes in five spots. How many ways could we do that? Essentially, what that would be is just laying out the five spots and saying, how many choices do I have at each spot? Well, choice one is five. I've could any, I could put any box there. Choice two is four. Choice three is or three, two, and one. And then I'd multiply five times four times three times two times one, and I'd get 120. And that's what I would get if I typed in 5NPR5. And NPR, which is permutation, can be found by hitting math, sliding over to probability, and then it should be the second or third button uh, down, NPR. Now, unfortunately, we c it's not that easy because it says in this problem that this box, the colored box, can only be here, here, here. It cannot be on either end. So unfortunately, we can't approach this as a straight permutation question. We have to look at it a little differently. So the way that I would recommend doing this is that if the number of possibilities for this box is, is few, and in this case it is, I would just write out the three possibilities and then look at it based on your choices. So possibility number one, that box is sitting here. So if it's there, how many choices do we have for this box? Well, we've used this box, but we still have four other boxes that could go here. Since this is, has to be here, we consider this a 1 in terms of the math. Now we've used two boxes, so that means we have 3 left, 2, and 1. And 4 times 3 times 2 is going to give me 24. Now this box could also go here. And again, four choices for this, 3 here, 2 here, 1 here. Again, 24 different ways to arrange the boxes given this box is in the middle. And then lastly, this box can go here. And again, it's 4, 3, 2, 1, 24. Now, the last decision we have to make is what do we do with these answers? Do we add them or do we multiply them? Well, in probability, you have to constantly ask yourself, are we talking about an and or an or? In each of these, these were ands. This and this and this and this. And that's why we multiplied. But here, it's either this or this situation or this situation, so we're going to add those. And if we multiply them, I believe the answer is actually too big to even grid in, so that would be an indication that that's not the right the way to go. So the answer to this question is 72. There are 72 different ways to arrange these five boxes, given that the colored box or the filled in box can only go in these three spots. OK? So again, you notice I drew a picture, essentially. I thought about each decision I had. If I thought these were happening in ands, as if I have to do them all, I multiplied. And then I added down because it was these are the three options. It was this, or this, or this. So hope to see you again soon in one of our uh, hard math videos or over at MindFish.com. Thanks. MindFish.com will help you ace the SAT. Practice for the test with SAT Quest, our online SAT quiz game with over 1,500 practice questions. Learn difficult SAT vocabulary words with short, funny, and memorable vocab clips on video vocab. We've got test prep pros from Harvard and Stanford standing by to give you the test prep guidance that you need. Master every concept on the test with SAT videos. MindFish.com, your resource for all you need to ace the test.